Hear the sw story about the swimming hole. Okay. I guess the, 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 the swimming hole that you're referring to is, is they, all, they called it Tom Mann's hole. And it gets this name, Tom Mann was uh, who the town of Manford was named after. Mm -hmm. And there was a little creek that ran through all kind of the western side of the old town of Manford, and there was a little swimming hole in there. And they were behind some of the houses, rental houses and property that, that Mr. Mann owned. Consequently, the name Tom Mann's Hole. Uh -huh. uh, it's a wonder that kids swimming and using it had not came down with smallpox and diphtheria and everything <laughs> else because uh, the old town of Manford didn't have a sewer system. Oh, Everybody really? Everybody had septic tanks or cesspools, uh -huh. and they kind of graduated down to to the creek. Oh. So it wasn't just a real sanitary, safe place to swim. I see. Uh, another swimming area, uh, we were, the old town of Manford was about a half a mile from the Cimarron River. And uh, that was that was a, a, a good swimming hole was on the river. Uh, I think I heard somebody a while ago said something about mostly all the only ones that that used the Tom Manhold was the boys because they uh, skinny dipped. Oh. Uh, and I, I suspect everybody knows what skinny dipping means. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Wanda had something to say about yeah. that. Yeah. I, I heard that there was two girls when it was stolen boys' clothes one time. Oh. 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 What fun. <laughs> Do you know how the boys made it out? No. <laughs> Following very carefully. <laughs> One of those girls didn't happen to be you, was it? No, 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 I don't think so. No. What things did you do at the drugstore? You said you enjoyed going to the drugstore. <coughs> well, it was an old-fashioned drugstore where you sit up at the counter and uh -huh. you, you have your uh, tall drinks. Uh -huh. Cherry phosphate was the favorite. That mm -hmm. was the favorite mm -hmm. of everybody. And, I don't think, have you all ever heard of cherry phosphate? Do you know what a phosphate is? What, how is a phosphate different from, say, a, a malt? I'm not sure what that is. Well, it, uh, it was more of uh, what we call fizz water. Uh, it was a bubbly It's probably drink, like, like a, a almost like a chair lime made chair today. Lime. Oh, okay. But it okay. has a little bit more fizz More to fizz it. to it. Okay. I, I don't suppose this age group of, of children has ever been in a drugstore that had a soda fountain? No, in. they don't know. All the old the drugstores yeah. back in our days had a soda fountain in them. Mm -hmm. uh, ice cream, uh, root beer floats, uh, soda pop, uh, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And that was, a uh, matter of fact, that was a uh, lot of uh, high school kids, that was their summer job was uh, oh. call them soda jerks. They worked behind the soda, in the soda fountain. Sure. That's cool. I like that. So Lois, tell them what you did with the corner your mom gave you for lunch. Oh, well, um, as I told earlier, the lunches were 25 cents each. And uh, one of the most exciting times uh, to you all probably will sound ridiculous, but when I became a student in high school, we were allowed to go off the grounds to have lunch if mm -hmm. we wished. And I would take that quarter and go all the way downtown. Now, we only had a half an hour, so you had to walk pretty fast. Mm -hmm. But I would go down through the alley and go to the city cafe. And uh, Mrs. Bashir's had the cafe at that time, and for a quarter, I could get a scoop of the best mashed potatoes with a slice of tomato and a drink. Wow. And to be able to go off the school grounds, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that was exciting. Mm -hmm. And my brother, you was talking about the uh, Cimarron swimming. My oldest brother took his three younger brothers and took them down there and pitched them in and said, sink or swim. <gasps> and that's how my brothers learned to swim. They didn't sink, huh? They, they swam. They didn't sink. They that's just good. Learned to swim. Well, one of them was my husband, and he, he said when he hit bottom, he knew he had to do something, so he started waving those hands and feet. <laughs> And that's how he learned. So your husband is your brother. Yes. Oh. His name is Gene Box. Gene Box. And we are so sorry that he's not here with us today because he would tell us a lot of interesting stories too. Now did all three of you swim in this swimming hole? 
No, I never did. I no. never did either. Did you, Doc? I never was in the, uh, what they call the Tom Man. So I, I went to the river quite a bit. Uh, I was, we lived in the country until I was 15, okay. at which time we moved into town. So as a country boy, I didn't get to indulge in these city, city ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we lived about two and a half miles out northwest of the old town of Manfred, which incidentally, I still live on part of the place. Now that you got, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's, uh, I was just going to say, uh, probably 65% of the children that went to school yeah. were country livers. Uh, there were uh, not that many that lived actually in the old town. Honestly. How about restroom facilities at school? Oh, my. <laughs> Elementary school had outside facilities. The girls had a five-holer. <laughs> and I assume that the boys <laughs> were similar to that. But I remember you had to be pretty desperate to go to the bathroom to go out there. Is that right? Because the uh, fragrance <laughs> was uh, tremendous in the warm months of school. So what would you do then? So you would go out there <coughs> and uh, get your job done as quickly as possible. But uh, it was a way to get out of school. <laughs> if, you, if you had a problem that you were working on and you couldn't figure it out, you would make an excuse to go outside to the facilities. So uh, maybe the class hour would be over. <laughs> so you had a boys' and a girls' restroom? Yes. Oh, I figured you shared the same. No, there was one side. Yeah. Um, the, um, the holes were not petitioned. Oh. They were just... Five holes. It was a communal thing. Yes. <laughs> but like I say, you didn't stay out there long enough yes. to really carry on a conversation. <laughs> now, what about getting a drink in the, did you have to bring we some water? No, there was water fountains in the school. Okay. But it wasn't cold water fountain. No. Yeah. You yeah. took whatever water. it was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the water pressure is usually so low. You, you had to suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to find a little bit of water to say, that's right. <laughs> Well, I might have the water fountain, but not the indoor. Well, we, we, well we had indoor plumbing, but majority of the time it didn't work. Right. Oh, you remember okay. where I said oh, something okay. about there was no sewer system, it was all yeah. septic uh -huh. tanks. Uh -huh. Well, most of the time the things were stopped up and they didn't work. I see. So, so we, had, we had both. I so see. did you have recess? Yes, we had two recess. We had one of morning and one of afternoon okay. and the lunch hour. And did, was there playground equipment, like slides and merry-go-rounds? We had uh, swings, uh, teeter-totters, and uh, this thing we around. called uh, ocean, uh, ocean Wave. Yeah. yeah. It went around and around, but it, but it also... Oh, oh okay. yeah. It was kind of a swing on a pole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> swing on a pole. Yeah, we had... Uh, what was those things where you reached up and you swung on? Chin and bars. Chin and um, bars, yeah. And I, got, I remember one time I was about third grade, and I was really... Boy, I was giving it all I had, and my hand slipped, <laughs> and I landed oh. right down on the ground, and it took my breath away for quite a while. I bet. But went right back. Well, we had, you know, that kind of playground yeah. equipment, and uh, like everybody usually had a softball game going at recess, okay. and, uh, and at noon hour, that was good. We used our imagination. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to get home on the buses? Ugh. Uh, it didn't take me too long since we were only about, uh, like I say, two and a half miles out of town. And if I remember right, that was kind of the, the our bus went kind of two ways. And I think going to our house uh, was the first was the first direction that Dad took. Uh, it probably took maybe 20 minutes, something like that, for me to get home. I think we got out at 3:30. 3.30, yes, and um, I live four and a half miles south of town, but uh, the bus routes were changed every once in a while, and there were times when uh, I would have to go east of town and ride for maybe 30 minutes before they even got to the uh, road to go to my house. So there were times, um, but when I got in high school, Coming from school, it went straight past my house, so it was a short trip, but 
I can remember an elementary grade school, which we didn't mind because we didn't get to see each other very often. And